Goodness. Now, let me show you a few things as we move forward. And this is what we're ahead for two years and four months. You can mark it down today. We are ahead. We are coming through this place. Say, we're coming through the swamp. And it is a swamp that we're about to come through. Now, we're in this time of breaking out of conventional ways of thinking. This is very key for us if we're going to make it through this place that we're headed through. And with that, you have to understand, and, and we're making a shift into harvest. It's not what it, we think. And any time you're moving into a harvest season, what happens is the separation gets worse and worse and worse and greater and greater and greater. Over these next two years, you will see one of the greatest separations in this nation. It will almost look like the Civil War has come. It's just that God is going to have to define this separation so we fully understand it. It will cause his people filled with the Spirit to rise up as one. Now, it's what's going to happen with us. We won't have time for the racism card. We won't have time for all of that because we're going to have to be one. And the voices with the anointing, we're going to have to learn to follow after the anointing and be able to see the anointing because the separation is going to get greater and greater. Now, with that, we're shifting from church fully into kingdom. This is the best example of a kingdom meeting. Best example of a kingdom movement. Everybody say movement. Amen. Now, this is what the Lord told me, and it's a new day. We can't think church. What God has been doing in you is to get you into kingdom thought. And the kingdom is within you. So that means it's you that is about to decree some things you've never decreed before and move forward and exhibit some things you've never exhibited before. Now, with that, the Lord spoke to me as I was coming here. Now, Tennessee is a good state. Everybody clap their hands and thank God for that. Remember when God caught me up in 2008, he showed me each state. Tennessee was a good state, a good state, a covenant state. And I think that's one of the reasons we're feeling what we're feeling tonight here. It is a good state that is going to be leading in the war ahead. Now, that's very important, but the Lord said it to me this way as I was seeking the Lord for this meeting. He said, this new day is breaking in Tennessee. So get ready. They've been going through some things over the last seven years. Now, I'm not sure your journey, uh, uh, YouTube, but you have been going through some things, and now the new day is broken. And so with that, there's a new dimension that you are about to enter in that will shock you. I mean, I can see it over you. Uh, I'll try to say it as we move forward. But he said the blockades from the past season in this state are going to start cracking. Now, I just came from South Dakota on the, I flew here uh, from South Dakota on the Pine Ridge Reservation. That is probably one of the worst places in the entire world and one of the greatest atrocities in America that exists. And uh, it would shock you if you saw what that reservation looked like. And with the, with the uh, because we're getting ready to bring uh, the all tribes into D.C. to pray again, this will be the third year. And in the midst of it, that reservation has a desolation. And I'll tell you how God works on it. The chief of the reservation two weeks prior went into Rapid City and asked one of the key leaders, do you think that man named Chuck Pierce would come up here and pray for us? And he said he is coming in two weeks. And I knew then I had to go out on the reservation 
and pray with them and encourage them and give them a charge of what God could do with them. There was such a, 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 a focus against the Sioux people that shows you what we're up against because when the enemy starts trying to take out a people, what he does is he focuses to try to separate and fragment their strength. And they're the only people that were so fragmented on nine different res reservations. Now, my mother was Chickasaw, and the Chickasaw, for instance, they're all on one reservation, and they have a government on that reservation. And matter of fact, they're the only sovereign nation in America, so I've learned a lot from them. And they uh, hold a deed to their land. They're the only native tribe that holds a deed to their land. They were the only ones strong enough not to bow in the midst of what is going on in America. That's what you're going to start seeing also that will overturn the racist structure in this land. Because, see, all the root of that is anti-Semitism. And so we're, we're watching, and one of the things that Dutch and I saw several years ago was one of the first states to overturn anti-Semitism from a government le level was Tennessee. Let's thank God we are sitting in this atmosphere. Now, the Lord says he's going to start breaking blockades off of Knoxville, Memphis, Nashville, and Chattanooga. And that they're going to rise up and become models for what God will do in days ahead. And so I think this is the beginning of something. Matter of fact, uh, let me prophesy. You two stand up. Uh, the Lord says, I'm going to make this a center of movement. The Lord says, you have endured a lot of change. And I brought one of these also. It is the new mantle for the year. It's a wineskin. It's we pour it, we make it. And I'm going to just send it down with Dutch. He'll open it up and he'll put it on you. He'll hold it up so you can see it. And the Lord says, what you've been going through has been key for the future of this nation. For you have gained a platform to be used. And you will become a model of church advancing kingdom. You'll become a model of how a kingdom movement rises up and true transformation occurs within a city. You will begin to model things. So the Lord says, get ready. You will no longer be able to be safe in developing this. For the Lord says, I'll give you ten cities now. And from those ten cities, you'll begin to change the course of what will be happening. You'll be on teams that change cities. So the Lord says, now you're initiated into a new wineskin. We pour this art-wise, we, we do it. And the Lord says, now what has been going on for seven years here will be poured out. And the nation will watch the wine pour from this place. Now that brings all of us to this place. See, we're in a time that we have to overturn old cycles. We don't have a choice. And just like that reservation in South Dakota, there are strongholds that God is saying, my people will be assigned to in these next two years. They will stand on the height of the hardest places and they will say, you now will crumble under our feet. The Lord says this movement is going to take a turn that will begin to change the course of this land. For you have recovered a land, but now you're going to transform it, saith the Lord. So get ready for this movement will even take a turn. And you will have the energy to turn into this movement and move with it. So you must keep, this is a word God keeps saying to me, religious complacency off of you. You cannot say, we, we know that. We've done that. The Lord says, no complacency this season. You're going to be called up. You're on assignment. You've been brought in here on assignment. 
You've been brought in here on mission. Your prayer life will change in the middle of the night. And you'll say, i got to pray something. You won't have to try to pray to stay right. You'll say, i got to pray something. And it will come up out of you. And you'll be unlocking some new dimensions. One will be wealth that has never been unlocked before. And you'll start moving in it in a way that you haven't. Because this intercessory movement that God is calling now unlocks and establishes the apostolic strength of the church for the future. So not only is it led apostolically, it is a movement that will cause the gaps of this land to be addressed. So the Lord says we will be sent into gaps to stand and address gaps where there's wealth uh, deficiencies. We'll address gaps where religion has trumped kingdom. We will start addressing gaps where bloodshed has happened and no longer it will be able to rule. I say to you, you are moving in a new dimension.